Hi there, my name is Amanda Hill and in this video we're going to look at storage fees. These are the fees that you will be charged on Amazon for products that are sitting about on their shelves doing nothing. Now you should have a very good strategy for not paying storage fees because obviously that's eating into your profit. Now by knowing where to look and what to change or what to put an add on or to reduce the price of, then you have a good indication of what you should and shouldn't be doing with your business. Let's go and see what they are and where they are. Now I'm just gonna go into the main dashboard to see what it is that I can improve on. And you have a little dashboard icon here. Now I have moved the clickable link from over here where the little three lines are just by finding it and basically adding it to the top line here. It's incredibly important that you use this dashboard a lot to see what your business is up to. You can also go through on your IPI here. So this will actually give you your performance rating and part of that is based on lots of factors such as excess inventory, sell through, stranded inventory and in stock. Now, dependent on whether you're doing a strategy with more merchant fulfilled than Amazon fulfilled, some of these you can basically change around just to move where these are. For example, I could add more inventory in rather than merchant fulfilling it. But for varying reasons, we've been testing lots of merchant fulfilled recently. Here you can see your excess inventory percentage and you can go find what those items are and make decisions on what you're going to do with them. Stranded, obvious, fix the listings and obviously you're going to want to look at your sell through rate to see if you can improve that. Now for your storage fees um, in March my storage fees were £17.76 which is apparently 1% of my sales revenue for that period. Now that isn't the end of the world but the lower you get it the more profit you're making and you really do need to keep an eye on why things are there. If they're stranded and we do get things stranded occasionally they're going to count towards that. So the quicker you get that sorted, they're not going to then start charging you storage fees. Now, if your fees are ridiculously high here, you need to look at your strategy and make some changes because the more you're paying for that, then obviously it's coming off your bottom line. Try and work on a 30 day turnaround for the stock that's gone in or do what we did and test things merchant fulfilled first to then get a better idea over 30 days what you should be putting in to avoid those fees. So relatively simple, keep an eye on it, keep it down and you'll be profiting more. Hopefully that's been helpful to you.